Good day there, YouTubers. Uh, another video on uh, Neil. It's a DX959 uh, Galaxy. Uh, he wanted me to uh, go through the radio to go with uh, an amplifier, which we'll show you both these two together here shortly. Um, but uh, basically, we took his four pill fat boy, made it into a five pill, and he wanted me to uh, align the radio with uh, the amplifier. Well, first off, we went ahead and popped the lids on it, and somebody's got a some type of swing kit in there. I haven't seen them do it that way before, but paid each their own, and uh, we went ahead and fired it up. We're going to redo the radio. So, uh, but this is a preliminary. As you can see, flat, not looking good at all. That needs to be helped. It's doing about 10 bird, good solid 10 bird. So, uh, we'll be back with an update. Back with Neil's uh, 959. Uh, I'm going to do this kind of quick. Um, so we can fire up the fire pill with it. I haven't got that hooked up. This is just the radio by itself. I haven't gotten the lids back on it yet. We will in a second. But uh, here's your scope. And uh, just to show you the reference. Aren't, I mean, that's just reference. So a little over 200% modulation. Looking in peaks and negatives. Beautiful. This thing's going to be uh, kicking some real good butt, man. Um, go over here. 50 watt slug. We'll switch up hands here for a minute. And about three watt dead key. Oh yeah, on on on. A 12 bird, which is respectable. Uh, let's see, dead key, and that's the nature of these radios. There's five watt. Oh yeah, about 14. Don't usually like to run it there. But three or so is good. Two. Whatever it takes for the amplifier. Peak side. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, 26. So there you go. We'll be back with the amp in line. All right, guys. Uh, here we go. Neil's uh, Fat Boy. Uh, we can, uh, added the uh, one pill section into it. So he's got the driver in it now. So now it's a five pill. Um, everything's there. Uh, let me show you what we got going on here. Hooked up right there to my small supply. Small supply is right at the 15 volts where we normally test at. Follow this piece of coax. It's going all the way over to my radio bench. Okay, 959 in line. Still haven't put the lids on it yet. Just preliminary testing. Okay, we'll go up here. 1,000 for the bird. 2,500 for the peak. I guess I ought to turn the peak meter on. Let's throw that on. All right, digital Dave. For peak meter. It's a little tight. I've heard uh, different in windows about it on YouTube, but it is a tight peak reading meter. But uh, guys want to see peak, and this is what we got. So, yeah, about, 100 and, about 140 watt dead key. Oh, uh, yeah. Hello, 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 hello. About 480. Oh, uh, yeah. And 800. And that's pretty much on your stock volts. Um, if you like let me do this real quickly um voltmeter a second here put the probes on around there whoops Hopefully there's enough connection. Yeah, 14.9. And when we key it down, it should drop. Oh, yeah. So those watch, oh, yeah. Are coming at 14 and a half volts, which is about what a vehicle would run it at. So uh, not bad out of it. Might do a little bit more in his mobile. You know, automobiles are a little bit different than power supplies and dummy loads and stuff of that nature. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If this is something that you would like done, give us a shout. We'll help you out. Stickman at the No Name Amp CB Shop, and we're gone.